Hello and welcome to the warm-up. I'm Matt Finkel. This warm-up is presented by GA Windsor & Sons and we are at Wapakoneta to chat Redskin football with head coach Travis Moyer. Travis, good to see you again. Thanks for letting us come out to practice. Just, good to see you as well. Just, so it seems like just like yesterday. I was just going to say, I was just out here <laughs> talking to you guys during the postseason and I know that's the goal to get back there again. Let's actually start with last season because it was a historic season for Wapak. 10-0 and you make the playoffs, losing four overtimes in the regional finals. What are the final thoughts on last year? Obviously, it was an outstanding season, and you can't have a season like we did last year without having great players, uh, guys that accepted their role on the team and uh, just did an outstanding job for us. Uh, you know, our coaching staff did an outstanding job last year, and then obviously you can't you can't have a season like we did last year without the uh, support of our school district and our community. So, you know, it was it was a great season last year, a historic season, and uh, you know that's where we want to get our program to each and every year. Ten and zero for the first time since 1986, and. WBL champs for the first time since 2006, but you graduated a lot of guys. That was a really senior-laden team and a, a handful of all Western Buckeye League guys on that team. So how do you go about replacing them? And, and hopefully the younger guys learned a little something from the guys that graduated. They really did. And, and obviously from that sense, uh, you know, we lost a great senior group last year, like you said, and not only all conference players, but player of the year type players. And, uh, you know, those guys ain't easy to replace. And, uh, you know, but that's what's exciting about this year. Obviously, we've got a new group of guys. Uh, we've got a group of seniors that understand it's now their team. And, you know, for us to be successful, we've got to go out there and we've got to compete at a high level. Who are some of the guys in particular you're looking to take on leadership roles this year? Well, you know, I, I think as, as a course of it, we've really challenged our entire senior group. You know, I don't think it's uh, fair just to point out one or two guys. And, uh, you know, we've talked to all of our seniors about stepping up and being leaders and even some of our underclassmen. Uh, you know, we've had a lot of guys that played a lot of football for us as underclassmen last year that we need to step up. So, uh, you know, we need, we need leadership from all positions and all players and, uh, you know, kind of do it by committee. For you, year two, the guys seem to take to what you were doing and bring it in here right away. Is it easier in year two now that they know what to expect or is it, or is it still a transitional period? Well, you know, I think there's obviously a transition period from our off season. You know, last year was our first off season, and uh, uh, but now being where we're at at this point of the year, really we're much farther ahead actually than what we were last year. So uh, uh, the guys have done a good job of understanding what we need to get done uh, to get back to where we want to go. This training camp, how's it going so far? I just caught the end of practice, seemed pretty intense, guys excited, a lot of, a lot of numbers out here as well. Yeah, we're very fortunate, we've got good numbers and uh, we have a few less than actually last year, but uh, uh, like I said, our guys are working extremely hard. Uh, you know, we understand our expectations, win a league championship, make the state playoffs and win a state championship. And to do that, you've gotta, we've gotta have great practices and our kids have to buy into the fact that we wanna continue to get better each and every day. And uh, uh, you know, as we do that, we'll continue to prove. Obviously, we're nowhere we, where we need to be right now, but as long as our guys understand that this is a process and we got to get better each and every day, hopefully we'll continue to make strides. Another chance to improve and see how you stack up comes during scrimmages, and your first one, I believe, is the 11th at Coldwater, mm -hmm. and that's a pretty good program as well. So what do you look at for out of the scrimmages, and, and if you're fortunate enough to scrimmage a state champ like Coldwater, is that, what do you look for out of that? Well, you know, I think to, to be a great program, you have to compete against great programs. And, uh, you know, obviously our first scrimmage is against Coldwater. Uh, our second scrimmage is a very good Ashland football team. And our third uh, scrimmage is uh, uh, Minster. So I don't know how many teams in the right. state of Ohio are actually scrimmaging two state champions. Uh, but, uh, you know, obviously it's going to give us a great look at where we are at, uh, you know, obviously going into that game one. And, uh, uh, you know, obviously we just want to show improvement each and every scrimmage. And, uh, you know, it's important for us to stay healthy throughout those. And the opener at home against Bell Fountain before starting league play at Shawnee. What do you think is the one thing that needs to improve the most between now and week one? Well, I think just our consistency in terms of execution. And, you know, like we talked about at the beginning, we've got a lot of new faces this year in our program in terms of guys that are going to be playing on Friday night. And, uh, you know, the faster they grow up, the, the better off we're going to be. And, uh, you know, we, we have to execute at a high level if we're going to be successful. And the Western Buckeye League is very competitive year in and year out, and this year is not going to be any exception to that. In fact, it feels like it's a little more wide open than in years past. Of course, you and Kenton were the top two teams last year with you guys going undefeated in league play, but a lot of teams are returning quarterbacks and skill positions. So where do you see yourself fitting into the league? 
Well, you know, obviously it's our goal to win a league, defend our league championship, and uh, we know that's a major uptake. And uh, there's the one thing I learned in this league last year, there's great players, but there's also great coaches. And uh, uh, we know that each and every week's going to be a competitive uh, uh, week for us. And, uh, you know, you know, it's important that we take each week as a step and uh, for us to be successful. And uh, uh, like I said, our league's going to be very competitive and, and there's great coaches in our league. You mentioned it before, the support around the football team last year was, was so tremendous. What does that mean to you to see that? And I'm assuming they're going to be out there, right, supporting you week one as well in, in, in droves. So what does that mean for you and the program? Well, I think it's great. You know, anytime you run onto a field on a Friday night and the place is packed and it's loud, uh, it's special. And, you know, I love our setting in the middle of town. And uh, uh, it, it, what's, what's really impressed me since I've been here is, is the support from the community. And we've had great support, and uh, that means a lot to our kids. You know, like I said, it's very special on you know, Friday night, but it's even more special when you run out and the, and the stadium's packed. Absolutely. And for you, you've had success at other places as well and now continuing that success at Wapakoneta. So what do you expect of your guys when they step on the field and whether it's practice or a game? Because I think there's a certain mentality that comes along when you bring in a coach who has had success and those guys kind of buy right in. And I think that's what's happened right here. Well, and I think the thing is our kids, we tell them we, you have to expect to win. You have to expect to win when you go out on the field, and and that, and you just can't say it. Obviously, there's a lot of work that's done up to that point, and uh, you know I think our kids have worked extremely hard this off season. Uh, you know I think they continue to understand what it takes now to be on top. Uh, you know there's a difference between on top and then climbing that mountain, and now that we're on top, you know our, that target's on our back, and you know we've got to we've got to uh, work. Ex even harder than what we did last year uh, in terms of being able to defend our championship. And uh, uh, so, you know, from that standpoint, preparation is going to be very critical. I've, you've heard me say that a lot yeah. uh, uh, in terms of getting better each and every day and, and just preparing ourselves so that when we go step on that field, we expect victory. Final question for you. You talked about the preparation. When did it start for this senior class? Right after the loss to Trotwood or did they get together before? the training camp started in the summer when did they start preparing for this season yeah, obviously we started you know 30 days after our break you know I mean in terms of the season and uh, you know that's the thing I've, I've found out that you know if you want to continue to stay on top and you want to continue to be good you've got to work extremely hard and you know obviously it takes kids buying into that you know so uh, you know we have we had kids in uh, January lifting four days a week eight hours a week you know, and they, we're going to play till August. So uh, obviously the the importance of the off season is critical in terms of being successful year in and year out. And, uh, you know, our kids are going to continue to buy into that. And, uh, you know, there's a major challenge here to defend what we have. And we want to, we want to keep a D WBL championship here in Wapakoneta, and that's important to us. Well, best of luck. Thanks for letting us come out. That's Coach Moyer, Wapakoneta head coach. Time for a break here on the warm-up presented by GA Windsor & Son. When we return, Patrick Camwer will talk to some of the Redskins players here on WOSN. Welcome back to the warm up presented by GA Winter and Sun. We're in Redskin Country talking a little Wapak football. I have three of the Wapak football players with me. I have uh, Jared Cockrell, Corey Crawford, and Cameron Locke, a trio of seniors. Uh, guys, thanks a lot for being here. Let me just uh, ask you how has training camp gone so far for you guys? I'll start with you. Uh, training camp's going well. Uh, Coach is being tough on us. We got a lot of new guys filling in spots. Um, other than that, everything's going great. What about for you? Um, we're just, I would say, we're just really getting the fundamentals down, getting the base of everything right now, and then uh, hopefully to build off that for the regular season and be ready to go. Like Corey said, just building each and every day and just trying to work on the little things and get better. What are some things that, uh, I guess I'll start with this, what are some things that have jumped out to you that you guys have noticed that you are, I say, impressed by so far, whether it's from you guys or from some of the other uh, teammates? I'd have to say that the younger guys are stepping up well. I know they got big shoes to fill, and they realize that, and uh, they're doing they're doing everything we're asking them to do. Um, I would just say again, also the younger guys, and uh, just overall as a team, there's not really just a few single leaders. I would say everybody's taking their own leadership and their own role, and they know what to do. So. I'd say uh, a lot of guys are playing different positions this year, so they're taking time and learning new things. Coaches asking them to do 
some new things, so they're just working each and every day. You guys are all seniors, and as you mentioned, the kids are, are a lot of your teammates are showing initiative. Uh, and I'll start on the far end with this one. Has that made it a little easier for you guys to provide leadership, knowing that a lot of the a lot of your teammates are showing that initiative and stepping up and doing what they need to do? Yeah, it makes it a lot easier rather than just have one guy trying to lead everyone when the whole team can just come together and just be a, be a leader and just lead by example. Have you seen some of the, I guess, juniors, and that, have you seen them kind of also step up specifically and take leadership spots? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's obviously some returning sophomores that were expected to play, and mm -hmm. they're really stepping up, and they're taking their leadership and doing what they need to do. We'll take a quick break and come right back. We'll talk some more Wapak football with these guys right here on the warm-up on WOSN. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by G.A. Winter and Son. Talking with some Wapak Redskin football players and we have... Uh, in case you are just joining us, Jared Cockrell, Corey Crawford, and Cameron Locke. Um, different holes to fill on different sides of the ball. Uh, Cameron, you're uh, one of the running backs. Jared, you're running back as well. What uh, what do you see as uh, ways that the offense needs to improve between now and week one? I'll start with you. Well, first thing we have to say, we lost four of the 5-0 linemen. Um, we got Corey coming back, so we got a lot of the guys have to step up for the first time playing varsity. But I think they got good timing last year, and they're doing well. I think it's going pretty well. We're getting the chemistry down with our O-linemen, just working on just little things, and quarterback at the mesh, and it's going great. With the linemen, with losing so many of them to graduation, um, what has that what, has that put any pressure on you? Like, Has that changed kind of how you approach uh, leading up to week one? Uh, yeah, I would say so. And um, also, I think it, it's – better for the younger guys because it shows that they need a sense of urgency and they need to work that much harder to earn the spot. It's not, nothing's earned, nothing's given, it's all earned. So it has that extra, extra. Extra something or other. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. Uh, first 10-0 season since 1986. I mean, you guys had historic success, you could really say, at Wapak last year. Does that add to the pressure of trying to go out and duplicate that again? I mean, has there been a sense that, uh, we have to go out and, and do that again, or is, is just going out there and, and following what coach tells you to do and execute? Uh, we know we got an X on our back right now from the rest of the league teams, but our goals are still set high, and we got the same, we went the same results as last year. Um, I mean, there's always that pressure, obviously, just being there, and then also it just just got to take it each, each every game, just one step at a time and build on that and then advance every week and go on from there. Kind of like what Corey said, we just got to build after each week, and we know that we got a target on us, so we just got to work each and every day and take it one step at a time. All right, well, uh, Jared, Corey, Cameron, guys, thanks for joining us, and good luck this season. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's going to do it for the warm up presented by GA Winsor and Son. For Matt Finkel, I'm Patrick Kamler saying so long. <laughs>